Tommy, uh, how, how exciting is it for a defense to go against a celebrated back like Jonathan Taylor? And did, does that get you going even more this week? Yeah, I think even uh, from Sunday when we went to meeting with Coach Jay, uh, I think we're really excited just to have this uh, type of competition with the, the back that he is and with the O line they have. They're really good O line and strong physical back. So I think this game will come down to like just the front seven linebackers and D line. Uh, right next door, Bill from uh, the Dispatch. Yeah. Did you watch the Wisconsin Illinois game, and were, were you hoping Wisconsin would come in undefeated? Uh, I watched like the highlights of it at the end, and uh, I mean they just <laughs> had a couple slip ups, but yeah, I think uh, I think probably everyone wanted them to come in undefeated so we could play them. But. And <coughs> your thoughts on? I mean, it doesn't take any of the luster away. Yeah, it doesn't take anything away. We're still going to prepare, like, even if they did win or if they, did, if they lost, so we prepare the same way. Uh, front row left. Uh, Doug from uh, Cleveland.com. Um, you're strong, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's just what they say. <laughs> How strong are you? Can you drop some numbers on us or explain? Just, just talk about that a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this is probably like lifted, like, what specifics do you know? I don't know? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what good numbers are. Like, what's your bench press? How many times can you do your 25 on the bench? Mm -hmm. The last time I did it was during the summer, and I got 36. Mm -hmm. That seems like a lot. Why? How did that develop for you? Were you just a kid who, in high school, loved to be in the weight room, or, or, or why did you why did you develop that part of your game? Yeah, I think always just growing up, my dad was big on weights, and I think that just developed when getting to high school, and then especially getting to Ohio State, just continue to develop that part of my game, and then also get to other attributes as well. So, so once you are strong, and now you get out there on the field, um, what else do you have to do to be successful as a as a defensive tackle on the interior of the defense? I'm sure strength is nice, but that's not the only yeah, thing. I think you can have all the attributes in the world, but if your technique's not good with what we've been taught here with Coach Jay, then you're not going to be a successful player. So I think technique goes along, but probably more important than anything than if you have great attributes. Uh, fourth row left, uh, Andy from uh, the Lantern. Yeah, um, so we, we've heard a lot about working with Coach Jay and like how big that is for you guys. Um, what, what has been his biggest stressor to you for this season and your improvement as a player? Uh, I think so far, the biggest things he wanted me to do is just try to wreck the line of scrimmage and try to knock the line of scrimmage back. And that's been the biggest just thing for me is just trying to create uh, just create disruptions in the backfield and trying to do the best I can. Uh, front row right, Austin from Letterman Row. I mean, the, the play that kind of flashed uh, to me the other night was when you came from one hash all the way to the sideline to make the tackle. Everybody talks about your strength and you battle in the trenches, but is that a kind of play that gets you a lot of love from the coaches for the energy and the speed and everything that goes into chasing a play down. Yeah, and I think that's just something that we've been like been going through that since the summer and since like the start of the since preseason camp has been running to the ball. That's been one of our big keys for the season. And so we run to the ball every practice and that's just like just been stuck in I think all the defensive guys in minds is just gotta get to the ball. So that's the thing. I would think a big guy like you in the middle would run all the way to the sideline. Like you don't like that do you? <laughs> I mean, it takes some more energy, but it's, I mean, it's just another hustle play, and that's like, well, that's what we need on the defensive end. Uh, front row middle, Dave from 24-7. Tommy, um, Chase Young's development as a leader, is that something that has, he's elevated that this year, or has he always kind of been like that? I think he uh, really took a big leap from last year in his leadership role. I think not just on the defense side, but as for the whole team. And I think he's really stepped up, and you can show, and he can show that just through his play, but also like the energy he brings during the warmups and in practice as well. He's a great practice; he shows it in practice, and I think he stepped up his role this year. The guy that everybody's projecting as a top five pick in Chase Young, he's out there leading by example. It's gotta, it's gotta mean a lot to you guys, really. Uh, yeah, it's, I guess that's the embodiment of leadership right there. Yeah, it, it for sure is. It shows like the way, like just the way he practices, makes everyone want to practice harder and, and be better. So I think that's a testament to him. we got time for one more question, if I missed anybody. Not front row right, Tim, Letterman Row. Real quick, uh, when y'all watched the video, I don't know if y'all watched the video of Northwestern game, but when Dewan Jones knocked down, it looked like the entire Northwestern defensive line plus some of y'all's guys. I mean, what, what was the reaction? Obviously, Mitch Rossi had a hell of a block on that play too, but 
I think I think once we saw him go in the game, everyone was just excited to see him get in there and try to do something. And like he did on that play, he opened up a big hole for a T to score touchdown. I think everyone was just really excited for him, and everyone was going crazy on the sideline. Yeah, I don't know if you go against him ever in practice, but uh, what is it like going against a guy who's six eight, three sixty, or whatever he is? He's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> But no, nah, he, he practices really hard and he's getting better day by day. So I think that's good for him. And, it, and he's uh, getting developed well by the stud. And I think he's he's going to keep improving. Great. Tommy, Tommy just real quick, does this just feel like a game for you? With a run game like this, do you feel like this is a game where you can really help this team? Yeah, I think it's a game for the, especially the D line and linebackers. I think this will be a big test for us this season, uh, like stopping the run game and stopping Jonathan Taylor and seeing uh, just play physical up front. So I think it will be a really physical game. Great. Tommy, thank you.